Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome to our Applied Mechanics lesson. So in today's lesson, we will be starting with a brand new module, brand new chapter, and it will be um, centering around moments, okay? So simply put, all you need to know, your moment is your force times the perpendicular distance. That's all you need to know. That's all... That's literally, we can say the end, put a full stop and close this off. But because, hey, you're students and you need to learn, we can't, okay? So we're just going to start off with a short example on here. Let's say you have a beam, right? And for purpose of this beam, we'll just put our supports A and B right at the end. B, hey, when? Then let's say the distance between them is 10 meters. Ne? And then let's say there is a force 2 kilonewtons here, and the distance is 2 meters from the left. And then we have a force, excuse me, that's pulling up. I don't know what the odds are of having a force that's pulling up. This one's also 2 meters from the right, and this one has a magnitude of 4 kilonewtons. Okay, I want us to use this to essentially go about calculating. And what we're trying to find, the end result, most cases when you're calculating using your moments, you will be trying to calculate your reaction at A and your reaction at B. So you're trying to understand if there is a force of 2 kilonewtons over here that's pushing and a force of 4 kilonewtons on here that's pulling, what will be the resultant forces of A and B? Essentially, how do they react to this how do they feel about being pushed and pulled that's essentially what we're trying to calculate on here right so where you start is completely up to you but all you need to know is when you take the sum of moments at a and equate them to zero anti-clockwise should be equals to anti-clockwise this and this essentially means the same thing then you'll be able to calculate the unknown so when you take moments at a so you'll essentially have for example let's say it's you standing on here right you're trying to calculate the perpendicular distance that this force is from point a you're not calculating the distance you're calculating the effect of this force and the only way a force can have an effect is if it has a perpendicular distance from a specific point where you're standing then while you're at a you obviously cannot calculate point a because it has no distance from point a it means your only unknown would be b and the distance between b and a would be the perpendicular that you are considering similarly to this four kilonewtons the direction would be a bit negligible you just need to of course take it into account when you are now working with your signs but the perpendicular distance remains the same regardless it will be the same eight meters from your point a and that will essentially help you to calculate your reaction at b so let's calculate it so let's say we are taking so take moment about a okay Moments about A, then we say clockwise is equals to anti-clockwise. Essentially, we're just saying they will be a different in signs. And for it to be in equilibrium, then the clockwise should be equal to the anti-clockwise side. So if you're standing at A, so the very first force, how is this 2 kilonewton behaving? If you're standing at A, your 2 kilonewtons pushes your beam this way. That's clockwise. Your 4 kilonewtons is pushing it this way that's anti-clockwise your rb is pushing it that way that's also anti-clockwise so this will now help you in terms of coming up with the signs so we can say clockwise is positive okay then we will firstly say taking our moments at a okay then we'll say two times two it's that two kilonewtons and the distance from a is two then we have that 4 kilonewtons and it's anti-clockwise so it will be negative 4 times so we have a 2 on this side and we have an 8 on that side then your RB is also anti-clockwise and it is the entire 10 meters from your position A okay okay are we still on the same pace then you equate this to 0 because you're trying to solve for an actual figure okay so on here we have 4 
on here we have 4 times 8 minus 32 minus 10 RB is equals to 0 4 minus 32 minus 28 minus 10 RB is equals to 0 then minus 10 RB is equals to 28 divide by negative 10 divide by negative 10 RB is a negative 2.8 why is it negative because we assumed that RB is pushing up if you look at our diagram on here we assumed this is how our reactions would be acting but of course because we have a reaction that's pushing up and a reaction that's um, pushing down it would make sense if your reactions are not both positive okay so essentially our RB is 2.8 kilonewtons and it's pulling down okay this is because it needs to balance what's going on there, right? Then, similarly to that, we take moment at B, and we say clockwise is equal to anticlockwise, okay? So when you're taking moment at B, right, you're standing at point B, and then you're taking the effect of the rest of the forces when you're standing at point B. So when you're here, let me try a different color. I want like a yellow, yeah. Okay, so when you're standing at point B, point A pushes in a clockwise manner. Your two kilonewtons pushes it down in an anticlockwise manner. Your four kilonewtons pushes it in a clockwise manner. Does it make sense? I really hope it makes sense. Okay, so essentially when you're now taking your moments at point B, okay, then you can start off from the very beginning, say RA times 10. Okay, that is clockwise. Your 2 kilonewtons is anticlockwise, so you can put negative 2 kilonewtons times 8. Your 4 kilonewtons is clockwise, so you can say plus 4 times 2 is equals to 0. So 10RA minus 16 plus 8 is equals to 0. 10RA minus 8 is equals to 0. 10 RA is equals to 8. Divide by 10, divide by 10. RA is 0 0.8 kilonewtons. And since it's positive, it means we assumed correctly it is going up. Okay? Then there is one final step, and that is essentially how you go about checking. So next, you're going to say the sum of your upward forces should be equal to the sum of your downward forces. Okay, this is how you check yourself to check if your answers are correct. Right, so our upward forces, we have RA plus 4. Our downward forces, we have 2 plus RB. So our RA was 0 0.8 plus 4, 2, plus our RB was 2.8, 4.8 kilonewtons is equals to 4.8 kilonewtons, then it means our system passes, and essentially it means the method we have adopted to try and calculate our reactions using moments at points A and B respectively, it means we're on the right track and we've done it correctly. If you have any questions, you know what to do. I'll see you next time. Bye.